What is up, my legendary subscribers? This is Nintendo Gamer Legend, and today we're going to be doing another Pokemon video. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys some information. I'm going to be giving my opinions on the starter Pokemon. One. Number two. I'll be selecting my starter Pokemon. I already know which one it's going to be. I'm going to tell you guys. Three. I'm also going to be telling you which game I'm going to be getting and which of the legendaries I prefer. So, without further ado, let's get into the video right now. So, we're going to go through the starters one by one. And we're just going to go through and we're going to just like, I'm just going to give my brief opinion on it. I do not want to read a lot of stuff, but I just want to get to the point and say, you know, hey, I know a Pokemon I'm going to be selecting. So, that's all. Sorry, I just, I just need to put it right there. So, as you can see, this is Rowlet. He is the Grass Cool Pokemon. Grass and Flying type. He's one foot. He's 3.3 pounds. And his ability is Overgrowth. That is, I'm pretty sure that's a uh, ability that we've seen before. Yep. Yeah. Its visual abilities are impressive. The darkness of the night is no obstacle to Rowlet. It can twist its neck nearly 180 degrees from its back, front to back so it can see directly behind itself. It has a habit, a habit of turning its head in battle to face the trainer and receive instructions. That's wicked cool. Now, I had a really tough time deciding between two starter Pokemon. I know I didn't really want to select one of them because I, I'm just, I didn't really want to. Um, Rowlet is really cool. I like this Pokemon. Um, this is probably going to be my second. He's my second. Um, if I could have two starters, I know which one I would have. But all the starters are really awesome. I really like the starters in this generation. I was a little bit eh about the second one. But as you can see, he's really cute. He's an owl. He's a more of a barn owl. Because I have no idea what a barn owl is. It's pretty much, he looks a lot like a barn owl. Um, his evolution... If I can find some concept art online, then I will try to put it up there. <coughs> but I really like Rowlet. He's a cute little owl Pokemon. And I really like how he's a flying type as well. I hope he stays a flying type. I do not want... I want him to stay a flying type because of the reason. Next up, we're going to move on to Litten. He's the Fire Cat Pokemon. This is type is obviously fire. Um, he's 1 foot 4 inches. He wears, weighs 9.5 pounds. And his ability is Blaze. Blaze's ability where if, once you take half damage, your fire attacks are doubled, I think. Yeah. Link can attack with flaming hairballs. It's fur and rich. His fur is rich and immensely flammable. Litten grooms itself by licking its fur, like a regular cat, because I have one. And then he uses collected fur as fuel for fireball attacks. That's really interesting. Now, Litten is my least favorite of the three. For right now, the only reason why I do not want to select Litten at first is because so many other people are choosing Linton and I just I just don't want to be one of those people I want to just be diverse I'm a very diverse personality personality I always choose the stars that people do not like so you know not a lot of people liked Froakie in the beginning but now look at it everybody loves Froakie um, I'm gonna read a little bit more when the time comes for Linton to shed its for old fur it burns up in a glorious blaze that's really cool as you can see when he attacks and he's shooting his hairball, his spikes come up. He's just a very calm Pokemon. I like the fierce fighting Pokemon. I just don't know if it's gonna like hold up. If, it, if its evolutions are awesome, like if it becomes a panther. If, if it becomes a panther, I'm sold, okay? Now let's go on to Papio. He is the sea lion Pokemon. His type is water. He's the same height, 1 foot 4 inches. He weighs the most out of all the star Pokemon with 16.5 inches. And his event ability is Torrent. I have no idea what that ability is. I'm just here to play the game for fun. So as you can see, this Pokemon is my favorite starter. For this generation, I'll be selecting Poplio as my starter Pokemon for this generation. Besides Rally, it's either between those. Um, the reason why I'm going to be selecting um, this Pokemon... It's because a lot of people don't like it. And I really like it. it it's, it's got some nice colors. It looks like a water type Pokemon. It's a sea lion. And I really like Oshawa, so I think I like this one. Poplio can snort out bubbles that are made of water, which spin in water balloons into a playful battle strategy. Both flourless and hardworking Poplio can get easily carried away, unleashing enough power in the battle to make a quite to make it quite respectable. But Poplio's determined spirit means it's usually going to be found practicing hard on its balloon skills. So he can blow bubbles from his nose? 
from his nose. He can. Well, that's kind of weird, but come on, you guys gotta. He got a clown nose. He's so adorable, and I don't know. I want a plushie of Poppy Leo, cause like, I just absolutely love this Pokemon. Um, so I'm gonna choosing Poppy Leo. Um, I like them all. Nice job, Nintendo Game Freak. You did a spectacular job picking your star Pokemon. But you know, I'm gonna be choosing Poppy Leo. So Team Poppy Leo, everybody, leave a comment in the comment below what Pokemon you will be choosing for your starter. Let's go back to the Alola region for a second. I want to just say a, a brief you know, summary. This game looks awesome. I can't not wait till it comes out. Let's go to Pokemon. Sorry, I had to click on that. So, here's our choice. So, I really like Xerneas, and I also like Evil Tall, so it was really hard to choose. I also like Sol Galo, I don't know how to say his name, and Lulala. But I will be choosing New Lunala because I just, I really like flying Pokemon. I also like Fairy type. I, I think it's a Fairy type. I think it's a Ghost type. Yeah, she, it's the Moon Pokemon. It's a pretty tall Pokemon as well. It's like Xerneas and Evil Tall. I really like. I like how they like. Let me explain this. Xerneas and e and Evil Tall were both. Pokemon, where one was better than the other. In my personal opinion, I never even knew that move, by the way. Um, if you can see, Evil Tall is a dark flying type, and it's weak against fairy types, and Xerneas is pure fairy type. So, obviously, he has a disadvantage. Oblivion Wing, Oblivion Wing is a cool move, but this is completely different. I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but he's a steel, I think he's a fire steel type. Oh, he's a psychic steel type. I thought it would be a fire steel type. Whatever. His ability is better than her, and then this one's. Um, it's full metal body. When its Pokemon stats will not be lowered. Like if someone uses Thunder Wave, or um, and at the beginning of a fight, if they just start off with Thunder Wave. It's not gonna have any effect on this guy. I want to buy both games, but if I were to pick one, Lunala is gonna be it. And Pokemon Sun and Moon comes a day out before my birthday, so that's interesting. Um, so yeah, here's my awesome background. I picked that up. So pretty much my top five. If it's uploaded by now, go watch it. It's a. I put a lot of time into it. I've been putting a lot of time into videos. Yesterday, I literally was on the computer all day, just brainstorming ideas, getting my setup set up. This is my brother's webcam. Hope he doesn't get pissed at me. Doesn't even matter. I'm gonna use it anyway. Um, Hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you guys leave a like. And of course, tell me your starter Pokemon below. Which Pokemon will you be choosing for Pokemon Sun and Moon when it comes out November 18th, 2016? Check out my Twitter and Instagram links in the description. I will be posting a lot of stuff on it. Also, the next top five, if it's uploaded, it's probably not going to be Pokemon related. It's probably going to be Five Nights at Freddy's related. It will be the top five or with like the ranking of Freddy's. So pretty much that's going to be awesome. See you guys next time. Remember, guys, to goo me on.